All right, bonny lad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, hello there. Welcome back to Tell Peas in a Pod. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, September, nearly into October, so it's end at season. Or is it beginning at season, Dan? Dum, Whoa. dum, dum. This is it. <laughs> I think it, it's got now we at season done end, really, especially like with what we try to grow for, with big stuff and showing and what have you. Yeah. Because as your crops are coming out, you're prepping your soil for next year, you're picking all your seed catalogues up, blah, 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 aren't you? So it's just like, it never stops. Yeah, it is. As lights are going on, as, as grow tents are getting fired up and That's you're it. starting with things like that, big leak lads and that, they'll be, you know, putting the leak head straight in there. And yeah. All such as that, getting the pips going with onions and one thing and another. It's anyway, that's that but. What we want to do, what we're going to hope to do is, Dan's got a new plot here. He's, it's new, cultivated. He's had it a while, but he's had opportunity to get on it this week. Um, we just thought for anybody who's starting out with an allotment or, a, you know, a piece of land for growing veg, flowers, whatever, it's a good opportunity for us to start from scratch from the very beginning and take you through and show you what he's planning to do and how it works out for us. Uh, like I said, this is a plot down in, we're in Rotherham, this is Hartley Lane allotments. A couple of things really, if you take allotment on two, there's loads of things you can look for, depending how deep you want to go, you know, you can go like soil pH, orientation, this and other. For me, like, a couple of first things to do. One, how much is it? Yeah. That's top and bottom on it, isn't it? Unless you're, you know, Lord Fontoroy, and you've got it coming out of your ears, in which yeah. case you probably won't want allotment. Find out what rent is. Is it doable? Does it make sense? How much rent is to what you're going to get back as well? Unless you're growing just for pleasure, which is more like what I do. Two is the water on site. I've had allotments, I've had a few various sites over the years, and if the water on site and you're going to struggle to collect water through winter, i.e. rainwater, you've got a lot of work on. Yeah. You know? So two main things, these are £60 a year, at five or a month, about one pound summer to week so very reasonable and there's water on site so that ticks two main boxes for me to start with yeah i'm happy with that i'll have a go no matter what then all else that might come along like club rule you know twitch all that yeah, we'll yeah. tackle that as we go on but for me they're two priorities so i'll stop waffling on them i'll let you turn camera on plot and uh, just tell us a bit about what you've been doing mate yeah so Obviously, like I said, we've had this two years. Uh, this corner I've not cleared yet, but basically the whole garden was like this. Now, I've had a long weekend where I've been able to get on, uh, lent a machine off for a friend because it needed it. It was just too much to do by hand. So basically the cultivated area we've got is about 60 foot long, which we'll just have a quick walk up and basically we're just going to put some these beds are going to be four foot by about ten foot uh we're going to go with grass paths between them and we won't be using raised beds like i've got down on the other garden uh we're more traditional open area so the plan is up this side we're going to have eight beds at four bit four by twelve four by ten and then on this side we're going to put another two to give us 10 beds and then the rest is just going to be two big open beds uh, just for pumpkins squashes uh, and stuff like that moving over to the back area we're going to have this grass just so we've got a place where we can sit tidy this back up i'm going to get some dog roses uh, and some thorn thorny bushes and whatever just to make a secure boundary because we get a lot of people coming in over this fence um this area it does get quite waterlogged so it is going to want to get some work done on it we're going to add a lot of organic material and try and help with that so that's the plan as you can see we just started with this path we're just rolling it getting it nice and level for the grass uh, we've got plenty of twitch which we need to get out which we'll do over the winter like i say we've started digging beds these will get turned over with the tiller uh, and then i'll just keep going through them with the fork 
just to try and get all the twitch roots out. So that, that's pretty much it. It's still a, still a long way off, but come spring, it'll be ready for growing in. And uh, we'll keep updates and on it. This has all been done with cultivation. It hasn't been sprayed off at all, has yeah, it? Yeah, no. We've, uh, like I say, it, it, it must have been four foot high up well, this back the same end. as this yeah. side here, weren't it? Yeah, so all this, this is exactly what this were like. We spent four hours with a machine clearing it, uh, which, you know, some people are not able to have a machine, so it's a lot of hard work by hand. Yeah. Uh, the thing to mention with that as well for me is if you're basically down to a spade and a fork and that, a wheelbarrow, that's it. Yeah. Don't try and do everything at once. Yeah. You know, yeah. Give yourself six foot a day. Surprising yeah. how quick you clear it doing six foot. You yeah. Know. Well, this I mean, is the old mantra I always stand by now is what an old fella told me, and that's an hour a day is better than seven on a Sunday. Yeah. And that really does work on allotments. You yeah, know? it's uh, makes it more manageable, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And also, I think with that, done, if you're setting it on not so much this time of year, but in spring, get a good six to 12 foot cleared and nice. Yeah. Put some in it. Yeah. Once you start planting, it's amazing how different you look after it then. Yeah, it keeps you interested, yeah, doesn't it? Because yeah. you're seeing a bit of beneficial reward yeah. from it. Yeah, and... that's it. That's it, yeah. Yeah, they're not farms. We don't have to farm and we don't have to try and plough it all in one go and no. fill it in a week and things like that. Take that's your it. time with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, organic matter, anything like that going in, Dan? Yeah, so we'll... It'll be time, you know, to uh, find some horse manure, uh, go out and get bags of horse manure and fetch that in. I am looking for some cow muck if I can get hold of some. Yeah. I used to have a contact, but I don't think he's about anymore. Uh, but yeah, there'll definitely be horse, horse manure going in. Mm. Uh, there'll be probably a fair few bags of 6X as well, the chicken pellets. Yeah. They'll, they'll be going yeah. on. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a slowish process, especially we're coming into winter now, uh, yeah. just with the weather and, you know, getting time after work if I'm back early yeah. enough. Otherwise, it's just Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. So, yeah. and hopefully it doesn't yeah. give us too much rain over yeah. the winter. I tell you what, I like what I've stopped, well, I've always done it really, but I'm going more to it, which you've seen me do this morning as well now, is if I'm clearing crops which I'll, I'll call me soft crops, like my pumpkins, my um, maras, which make a big plant. Yeah. Is to get a trench out and bury them straight away. Yeah. So it's all organic matter. Yeah, just put it back yeah, in. Yeah, just put it back in. The same, again, we're having grass paths. Yeah. Because as you know, I've had grass paths for 12 months nearly now. All them I've put in a pile, and they're really dark brown and nice now. Yeah. So they're going to get dug in. Yeah. So, you know, you can create your own organic matter. Yeah, yeah, such as you your know, leaf It's not as just well. farmyard manure, what's organic matter? No. You know, your compost heaps. But what you need to avoid with a compost heap is it becoming a rubbish heap. Yeah. Which easily happens. It can't. Yeah. So, yeah. But no, it's a, it's a fair size plot. You say it's 60 by 25 feet. Uh, the cultivated area will be 60 yeah. by 25, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think overall it's probably more. Probably nearly 100 feet. Yeah. Which I think could get a family of four like you've got to give more than enough crops. Oh, without a doubt. To see your fruit winter. Without and some spare for growing, you know, flowers or whatever yeah. you want to do with it. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's that soft to you really, Dan. I mean, uh, you are limited with time you get. We work and family matters and stuff. And what you've done in three days is impressive. It is. It's... Uh, so, uh, yeah, what it's, we need is a mildish winter yeah. now, so we can keep going into yeah, it. Yeah, we just don't want a lot of rain. But, mm. Like I say, once we get in these beds with tiller and get them tillered, we'll be able to come down, you know, oh, yeah. our wit for Yeah. It, it don't take no work no. at all. A few good frosts on this will do it world of good as well. Yeah. Uh, although we're on for an heat wave <laughs> in October. So. That's it. Uh, but yeah, the, the other reason why the beds are on this side is because this, like I say, this side does get waterlog quite a lot yeah. which is why I don't really want to do much with this back end uh, and same up here so yeah the, that that is one reason why these mm. beds are on this side yeah so I think that is a good thing to mention you picked up on there as well is it's up it dries the seasons but it's still dry season really yeah and one thing you've done right is you've got on here before weather turns 
So if you do take an allotment on and you find it is prone to flooding or water sitting on it, yeah. don't try and do it when that water's on. You're just no. going to compact your soil and do damage. That's it. But I'm you waste. will get a benefit of that in summer because yeah. you will retain water that little bit longer than what a dry garden will. Yeah, you so it, it does have its benefits, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And it's a lot of work to stop bring soakaways and drains in on an allotment. It is, you know? yeah. So, and if it's a your, your own land, it's worth doing. But at the end of the day, we're only renting them. That's know? it. We're only custodians. Yeah. Oh, is that it for us? Yeah. Um, what we did mention, which I think we'll definitely do, Dan, I don't, we'll not set dates and that for things because we've learned yeah. things can happen, you know, and we can get distracted or well distract is not right word but life can get it where but we'll try and do it before end of uh, november anyway well we will do it before end of november shut up waffling martin <laughs> <laughs> we'll get seed catalogs out yeah yeah have a quick look through have a quick look and we'll go through it on air yeah. on this channel and people if they're interested in showing or they just want some uh, varieties what a pretty um decent for growing foot table because obviously it's a bit of a fool's errand because it varies where you are in country what soil type you've got what might grow great on here might not grow so much on there yeah but you get one or two right like quick example like beetroot baltardy yeah it seems to do pretty well everywhere so if you're new to it because that's basically what we're doing starting from scratch we'll give some some reliable cultivars a different veg yeah. and some flowers if you want i mean i grow a lot of dahlias and dan's starting with dahlias if you want to put them in, we can do. And we'll do that for me, Dan. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a very yeah. good point to cover that, William. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean... And also, when we do that, we can... I know you've got a bit of time around this month, so if we set beginning of next month, yeah. then we can come back on here, see it, how it's moved on or how it hasn't moved on. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's it. And uh, go through seed catalogues. Sounds, sounds yeah. like a plan. Yeah. And, I mean, mine's an established... Well, it's three years old established... But I'm completely altering that, more or less, this winter. So we'll yeah. have a look at that as well. And just, I suppose that's another thing. You can have an allotment from scratch. I could have had an allotment a few years, and then you just think one year, this ain't happening for me. This ain't quite how I want it. Yeah. And then sometimes it's thinking or knowing how to change it. You know, it's a big step if you've got used to raised beds for so many years, and then you think, I want to change this. It's exactly. hard to go about. It can be daunting, I think is the word. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll see you on next time. Yeah, the waffle is back. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. <laughs>